How to follow your dreams. I got a great question from one of my newsletter subscribers. Love you guys. Preeti who wrote in to say, Hey Evan, I'm quite confident about my career. I'm unable to get my true call on my interest in studios and future career selection. Right now I'm pursuing Bachelor of Technology in three years confused of what to do. I'm from the computer science branch and I don't know programming. What should I do? I feel I want to learn programming languages but I don't know where to start. Please help me. Following your dreams is hard. You're often fighting against the logical, rational, smart thing to do to chase this opportunity that doesn't make any sense, but that feels like the right thing to do. If you love computer programming, if that's your dream, if that's what you want to learn, then switch your courses and go for computer programming. Follow your dreams. And that might be scary. That might look like a failure in your own eyes, in society's eyes, in your family's eyes. You know, jumping from course to course, jumping from job to job, doesn't look good, right? It's just like, this person, how do they not know what they want to do? It's seen as a sign of weakness. But you have to look at what the alternative is. What's the alternative? You know right now that you don't want to be doing what you're doing. If you continue on this path and you don't learn about computer programming, that's your passion, you don't learn about that, you're a young person, you're in university, you have the rest of your life ahead of you and you're about to embark on this path that you don't love. That means you're going to be in a, in a field, having a job for the rest of your life, doing something that you don't love. Are you ready to sign up for that? The other thing to think about is regret. I try to live my life without regret and what I don't want for you is for the rest of your life to wonder what would have happened if I did the computer programming. What would my life be like now if I took that course? If I followed my passion then? Because the later you get on in life, the harder and harder and harder it is, the more responsibilities you have, the more difficult it is to switch gears. It's still possible, but it's harder. You're at a really important time in your life and you have to make the decision if you have the courage to follow your dreams or want to take the safe route and do what everybody else does and just go get a job in something that you might be good at. Not a lot of people have that courage because it's hard. You're fighting against yourself, you're fighting against your family, your friends, the people in your life, you're fighting against maybe your training. And you have to decide if you're going to make a decision with your head or your heart. I had the same challenge when I was in university. And I've told this story a number of times to people who are loyal viewers. I had to decide between having this high paid job, 80 to $100,000 a year, traveling around the world, a job that I thought, like a few years ago, I thought would have been my dream job. Here it is, my dream job. And in the meantime, I hooked up with a company where I became an owner in it and was, was barely surviving, making $300 a month. And every smart decision would have said, go for that job. But something didn't feel right. My dream at that time was to do this business, even though it didn't make any sense. I wasn't making any money. I'm throwing away a huge opportunity to work on what? This thing that's not working. But I didn't want to live my life with regret to say what would have happened if I focused on my business. And I had this passion for it that I had to follow through on it, even though it made zero sense. And I'm so glad that I did that because it's worked out. I turned it around. We built a successful company, sold it, started this. I'm so grateful for the life that I have and for that one decision that I made. And it wasn't easy. It was hard. It was one of the hardest decisions I ever made in my life. But I had the courage to follow through on my dream, even though it didn't make logical sense. And if you want to live your life, you want to do something important, you want to feel fulfilled, then you have to do what's in your heart and follow your dreams. And that may mean switching again. You know, maybe it's computer programming, you get into that and say, you know what, that's not it. Maybe I want to get into something else. And if your heart's taking you in that direction, then go for it. And you may bounce around and that's okay. Because you have to bounce around until you find the thing that you love doing and are meant to do. That's when you're really going to be happy. That's when you're really going to be successful. That's when you're going to really be fulfilled. So follow your dreams. Believe.
For those of you watching like the video, thumbs up below. Let me know what you think, leave a comment, ask me a question below, I'll make a video response, and click on my face to subscribe to the channel. See more videos like this. Thank you, see you soon.